Hey everyone, Fuse Man coming at ya. Last week we took a look at the Crypto Fuse VR APIs, and in that video I had mentioned that one of the tools that we'd actually used to implement them was Morales, and specifically the NFT and ERC20 APIs that are built into the SDK and APIs are leveraging the Morales APIs and just kind of wrapping around that. So having played around with that to actually integrate into crypto APIs. I wanted to discuss briefly what is Morales and just kind of give my take on having messed around with it to explain, I think, where it is today, where I think it's going, and just my, my thoughts on, on leveraging it. If you do have questions, definitely let me know down in the comments below, or you can head over to our Discord and chat and discuss this with the rest of the community as well. Really quick, what is Morales? So Morales is a, I think the way I, ha I heard it described, and I think this is probably the best way to describe it, is kind of the equivalent of what Firebase was for mobile and web development. Uh, Morales is trying to be that for crypto development. What does that mean exactly? So in, in the context of Firebase, right, it's coming up with a bunch of different services like authentication and just generally kind of building blocks that you might typically use, like having a database, exposing that as kind of a easy to use service uh, with a pricing model uh, that you can just purchase and just kind of hook into from, from the client side. And that's what Morales is really trying to do with crypto because fundamentally when it comes to crypto, and developing, let's say, a game, right? You typically need to go through a server that then will interface with the blockchain and handle your blockchain trans transactions. Uh, in previous videos that we've looked at, that's typically done through Infura. So Morales is trying to say, be an Infura, but add a lot more added functionality on top of that. So what 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 are those that that kind of feature set? So you have the kind of the base of Firebase uh, that they provide. So that's having a server that you can set up cloud functions on. Uh, you can have a database that is capable of actually doing really whatever you want. It's, it's a MongoDB database, which basically means you can save JSON data. It's built off of Parse, which I think is an open source project, if I'm not mistaken. So it comes with some nice uh, feature sets when it comes to actually, say, doing user authentication. So that's kind of neat. Uh, you have a JSON RPC node that can interact with a wide range of different chains. And I think that's an incredibly valuable tool. I mean, I mentioned in our 2021 video, I think this year is gonna be all around bridging between, between various different projects, metaverses, chains, and having cross-chain tools, I think is incredibly valuable. So Morales helps there. And then on top of that, they provide APIs uh, like the NFT API that they can, based on whatever NFTs have been registered, then start looking for what NFTs users might own because uh, there's kind of a little bit of a mismatch when you start diving into the NFT space on NFTs can live across different smart contracts, across different chains. How do you, for a given user, get access to all of that is, is a little bit of a complicated question. So. That's what Morales kind of exposes. And I think the easiest way to interface with that is through their SDK. Uh, you could use the API straight up as REST APIs and you can call them for whatever, but I think the easiest way is through their JavaScript SDK. And to that point, it's primarily written for currently for web developers or full stack developers. It, in that, if you have a good understanding of front end, back end, and the blockchain, then Morales is gonna significantly improve your, your workflow. And uh, they have a lot of great templates that are out there. There's some pretty good documentation, although I think there's still a lot of documentation to be desired for how much is actually out there. Uh, but needless to say, there's enough to get you started. There's enough boilerplate material that's out there for web developers. And I think that's incredibly important. Their plans, I believe, to integrate with games and Unity and C Sharp. But I think one of the reasons I actually ended up building out the Fuse VR APIs is because I think you do need, I think, one layer higher when it comes to actually managing play to earn games. And 
while Morales does serve as a, an amazing, amazing base, especially for a project that is pretty much just a year into development, uh, I think what they have is incredibly, incredibly powerful. Um, but like I said, one of the reasons I built out the APIs um, and I'm gonna continually work on them as if you need just one layer above Morales to, to actually expose a management scheme for managing NFTs for, for a game and especially across games. Um, there are a lot of different services that I think would be extremely helpful. So I think that that's where Morales is today. I think it's an incredibly powerful tool that encapsulates a lot of those kind of common core components for web developers. As kind of that backend service, I think that there, there are still layers of abstraction that I'd like to see added uh, when it comes to the service. And I think really, I think my, my main struggle with the whole thing is it was built specifically the SDK, I think was built with the intent of web development in mind. And when I tried to integrate it with my own server, um, I think I ran into a lot of complexity, whether it was a good or a bad thing, uh, integrating their SDK because it tries to try to do the front end, but it's also supposed to work on the server side, which is built with Express.js. Um, and without the right documentation, it is a little confusing to, to take advantage of. But I, I'm hoping with time and as the continue con community, as the community continues to grow, uh, some of these problems might end up solving themselves. Uh, but I, I think it's going to be a wait and see game for, for how that matures and where uh, they ultimately end up going. But I think if you're looking at play to earn games and you're looking at a system um, that you can start leveraging to hook into setting up a database, having that be managed up and down the chain when it comes to your game, when it comes to the back end, when it comes to interacting with the blockchain. All in all, I think it's an incredible service. And at the price point of 30 bucks a month, pretty much, uh, it's really, I would say pretty affordable. And I, I think what the team is doing there is really trying to enable the whole ecosystem uh, moving into the future, which I think is incredibly ambitious and optimistic for, I think, what Ivan and the whole team is actually doing. And so uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty optimistic that that tooling and project and development is going to be around for some time. And I definitely encourage anyone who is looking at building play to earn games or NFT games to definitely check out Morales um, and just learn the concepts because we'll talk about this in a couple weeks from now. But I think it's incredibly important for especially game developers to start learning not just the Unity side of things, but also the back end side of things, as well as, uh, well, I, I obviously I think if you're building play to earn games, you'll, you'll learn the blockchain side of things. But learning that, that full stack and how everything interfaces um, is incredibly important. And I think Mor Morales can kind of serve as, I think, a good starting point for that. So that, that's just kind of my review, having played around with it for a couple of weeks. Um, if you have played around with it, I'd love to know down in the comments below. Um, but otherwise, I think I'll wrap this up for now. So hopefully you found this video helpful and thanks so much for watching. Until next time, this has been Fuse Man and I'm signing out.